is up, awesome people, and welcome to the amazing world of Pokemon. My name is Lady Crimson, and people call me a Poketologist. This world is inhabited by many creatures called Pokemon. To Poketologists like me, Pokemon are our friends. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession, but we don't know everything about Pokemon, and there are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. So today's lecture is going to be an expansion of a point I brought up in the last Pokeology lesson. To recap, Marty and I share some similarities with both wolves and hyenas. Although the design may have been influenced by domestic breeds like the German Shepherd Dog, a breed with personalities are heavily influenced by their owners. German Shepherds also commonly come in black and grey colorations. In appearance may also be based on a brown hyena. Marty's appearance as well as the fact that it is a pack animal is reminiscent of a spotted hyena. So without further ado, let's dive into more detail on the origin of inspiration for both Mardina and its pre-evolution Poochiena. Along with this explanation, please enjoy some Pokemon X and Y Battle Mace on footage, as getting proper footage for this lesson will be quite hard. So sit back and enjoy, and hopefully you will learn something new in regards to the third generation bite Pokemon, Poochiena and Martiena. Poochiena and Martiena as their names suggest, are based heavily upon the hyena, and that there are a few things that most people know about hyenas. Namely, they are some sort of dog, and that they are unpleasant and cowardly scavengers. But as it happens, none of these statements are actually true. First of all, hyenas are not dogs, though their facial features are somewhat dog-like. They are more closely related to cats, and their closest living relatives are, perhaps surprisingly, mongoose and meerkats. There are four species of hyena in total, spread across Africa and Southern Asia. The smallest and meekest of these is the Art of Wolf, which lives mostly on insects and occasionally small mammals and birds. Intermediate in size are the striped hyena and brown hyena. Both of these species are primary scavengers, but the species most commonly associated with the practice, and the one we are most familiar with, is the spotted hyena. These are the largest of hyenas, and are also the species with reputation for laughing. It might come as a surprise to learn that they are highly specialised expert hunters, and as we'll discover, a species with very peculiar features. Poochiena and Mightyena are known as the Bite Pokemon, and this is not without good reason. The spotted hyena has an extremely strong bite for its size, roughly on par with the lion. The bite of the spotted hyena is easily strong enough to crush bones, and larger, extinct hyena species could even break the bones of elephants with their enormous teeth. And while we're on the subject of teeth, what are the hyenas' dietary habits? What do they eat? The short answer is that they'll eat anything. Their powerful jaws and digestive system allow them to consume every part of a carcass, including bones. While fresh meat is preferred, they are also capable of eating rotten meat, with no ill effects. And this would seem, is what has given the spotted hyena its reputation for scavenging. But the truth is that spotted hyenas don't scavenge any more than any other carnivore. They kill 95% of what they eat and that is far more common for lions to steal the kills of hyenas than vice versa. Lions and hyenas are in direct competition for food, and this rivalry regularly turns nasty. 60% of hyena deaths are caused by run-ins with lions, according to one estimate. Spotted hyenas have some of the most complex societies seen in the animal kingdom. They live in clans of up to eight members. A spotted hyena clan is one of the very few female-dominated societies amongst the mammals. It's not too uncommon to find species of insects or fish where the female is bigger than the male, but this is highly unusual for mammals. Female spotted hyenas are, however, bigger than males on average, and more aggressive. They also outrank the males in the social hierarchy of the species, to the extent that the lowest ranking female is still considered superior to the highest ranking male. This organised social structure seems to be one of the main factors underpinning the success of the spotted hyenas as a species. Experiments have indicated that the intelligence of the spotted hyena is on a par with that of primates, and seems to be even greater when it comes to problems requiring cooperation. I have to admit that the Pokemon series portrayal of hyenas is actually a pretty positive one. I have even seen suggestions that some of Poochiena and Mudiena's more positive traits have come from dogs, because, well, there's no way that hyenas could be cute, or noble, or intelligent, right? Their coloration actually seems closest to the striped hyena, which are various shades of black, white, and grey. It's just as likely though that these colours were chosen for the simple reason that both Pokemon are dark types. 
Shiny Puccina and Mytina have a colour that's pretty close to that the spotted hyena. Pokedex entries reveal more hyena-like features. References are made to Puccina's strong teeth and ability to eat almost anything. Mytina's Pokedex entries tell of cooperation and a rigid social hierarchy that allows the species to thrive. Clearly somebody at Game Freak did their research. So from what we've just learnt, let's apply the laws of the animal kingdom to the Pokemon world and see what we end up with. Firstly, we've learned that both Poochina and Mytina belong to the feline family. And before you rush over to the comments section, I know, I know, I know, childhood ruined. Their closest relatives would be the cat ferret Pokemon, Zangoose, as Zangoose is a bipedal Pokemon resembling a cross between a mongoose and cat, which are the closest relatives to hyenas. For the next part, we can look at this point from the perspective of Poochina being the Pokemon word equivalent of the Aardwolf, the smallest and meekest species of hyena. Or, we can look at it from the perspective of Poochina as a cub version of a striped hyena. For the sake of this lecture, I'm going to equate Poochina as the Pokemon world equivalent of the Aardwolf. So in terms of prey and dietary habits, we learned that the Aardwolf lives mostly on insects and occasionally small mammals and birds, while at the same time, hyenas eat anything. As Poochina's Pokemon Sapphire Pokedex entry states, Poochina is an omnivore. It will eat anything! A distinguishing feature is how large its fangs are compared to its body. This Pokemon tries to intimidate its foes by making the hair on its tail bristle out. With these facts, we can determine that Poochina would prey on most of the Pokemon found in the early routes of the game, including Pidgey, Rattata, Talo, Patrat, Caterpie, Wurmple, Weedle, Sentret, Hoot Hoot, Spearow, just to name a few. And thanks to its powerful bite, Poochina could even break through cocoons. So Pokemon like Metapod, Kakuna, Caspor, or even Silcoon are not safe from this hungry Pokemon. Moving on to Mytina, who is based on the striped hyena, can eat anything it can bite its teeth into. Though its most common prey would be Pokemon biology similar to that animals found on the African plains or grasslands, such as Sawsbuck, Stantler, or Giraffe Rig, just to name a few. In terms of threats to Poochina and Mytina, the Pokemon word equivalent would be 6th gen's Lion Cub Pokemon, Litleo, and its fully evolved form, Pyroar, the Royal Pokemon, which could explain why Mytina, Litleo, and Pyroar have the ability Moxie. In terms of stats, Litleo and Pyroar are far more superior, and that's not even including move accessibility. Litleo and Pyroar can easily outmaneuver both Poochina and Mytina, and defend with powerful fire attacks such as Flamethrower, Fire Blast, or Overheat. Even if we were to take in consideration Litleo and Pyroar's inferior attack stat, these two guys get moves like Wild Charge and can hit much harder with physical normal moves like Retaliate or Return or Frustration due to Stab. So the next time you see Mighty Inner and Pyroar facing off, chances are it's over who's eating lunch and who's eating the leftover scraps. And with that, that is the end of today's Pokeology lesson on the design origins of Poochiana and Mighty Inner. They're Jones awesomely cute by Pokemon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for Pokemon you would like to see featured in this series, leave them in the comments below. And while you're at it, make sure to bite that like button and subscribe to keep up to date with future Pokeology videos. And as always, thanks for watching. And with that note, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!